Hi, this is Dreamer of DreamersInGuard.com, and we're looking at the COA of this uh, awesome release piece by uh, Marvel, um, Diamond Select. Sculpted by Evi Livingston, 363 out of 2500, so fairly low number. Um, this is based on the artwork of um, of uh, Sam Keith. Sorry, I'm adjusting myself here. Um, Sam Keith uh, is involved with a lot of different projects over the years. Um, if you've ever seen the Max, then you'll immediately recognize this style. It's the you know, the, uh, I mean, look at his arms. I mean, look at his, his arms are just dug deep, his biceps. He's just twisted into the, the ground, like he's going straight through the ground. And his clothes are just tattered. I mean, look at the jawline on that. You know, he's just ferocious looking. The size of that tricep there, you know, I mean, it's like, it's monstrous. And his shoulders are huge. I can't help but think about the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I, I, I love the variety of greens they used on him. Um, it just really... It's really, there's a lot of characteristics involved with this piece, and I like it. It's such a simple piece. I mean, it's, it's not like there's anything major that stands out. It makes him so, so unique. Other than the obvious, and that's um, the, the artist that he's based on, you know, Sam Keith. Um, again, if you look at the Max, then you'll see the resemblance. It's kind of got that oversized body, dinky head type, you know, scenario or situation versus like having a huge head, small body. Um, it's hard to really see anything, but if you look real close, you'll actually see that, you know, you see a six pack in there and his pecs being covered up. See my Hulk comics in the background. figure, you know, <laughs> doing a review on Hulk, so, anyhow, um, this sculpture, there's a lot of things to be said about it, the, the, the pieces here, this, the overlay on it of the shirt just ripped, like, just flying back, you know, like, it's just, like, his body just, just ripped open, like, just mad, I mean, it's got a sick look to it, you know, it's like, just, it's like he's pissed off and his shit just ripped open, you know, um, Obviously, he's got that uh, angry face look. He doesn't, doesn't look like he's in a good mood, but it's... I mean, everybody's going to have an opinion about this piece. It's not a new piece. This is an older piece, uh, around 2006, 2005. I like how the back, uh, the way Eli left it, just kind of, like, shows. It's almost like you can get a an idea of the stage that he left this in, and why did he leave it? Like, it looks like crosshatch type strokes or something I mean I don't know it's cool to see that and the rubble you know the rubble of of him just breaking through the ground it almost looks like some of it's in motion you know again there's not really much to, to say about this particular piece I think it says a lot about you know Sam himself so if you don't know who he is or his art style look him up on Google um, and if you're familiar with the Max, then you immediately could set, see the connection, the similarities. Um, especially if you've seen the Spawn piece. Um, or not Spawn, sorry. Venom. If you see the Venom piece, <laughs> you'll see that they almost look the same with the big old hunch. Anyhow, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about this particular piece. Um, Thanks for viewing, and if you don't know who Sam Keith is, again, go ahead and check him out. And well done, Sculpture by Eli. And thank you for viewing.